it's week five. Uh, Jakari here again, just to give you a little update on my, what I'm doing. Um, I'm about to go to the gym and do my workout for the day. I think I'm going to switch it up today. Um, I think my body is getting used to the whole running, walking thing. So I'm going to do Stairmaster, which is one of my nemesis. Uh, me and the Stairmasters, I don't even like walking up the stairs, okay? So the Stairmaster, I don't know. We'll see what we can do. <laughs> I'll try to do at least 20 minutes on the Stairmaster and then do my um, weightlifting. I'm probably going to do... Um, upper body, like my arms, my buzz, my tries um, today. So that's going to be that. And I'll see you uh, later. Bye. second day of week five and I just wanted to talk to you guys a little bit about some of the things that I'm seeing on the internet um, actually on YouTube there's a lot of um, weight loss journeys slash how I lost 100 pounds slash you know lose a thousand pounds in one day like I see so many of these like crazy videos not not all of them are crazy but I'm just like I watch them because I'm trying to you know get inspiration and I some of them I'm just like really you know like you did that to your body um, these extremes of not you know one girl says she only drank one bottle of water a day like really in your regular life when you're not even exercising you need more than one bottle of water I mean I'm not just saying this because I'm on a journey and you know I have my own rules and things that I want to do but I'm saying this because I want you guys to be careful with the the information that's out there um, I'm a physician so I mean I kind of advise people too about like what they should be doing uh, regarding weight loss and exercise and things like that. So I would suggest that you talk to your physician. I mean, you don't even have to follow what I'm doing because I'm different from some, you know, the next person and the next person. So I would rather you talk to your physician, get some really good sound advice instead of like listening to some of these really like wacko ideas out there about weight loss and exercise because I don't want you to get hurt and I don't want you to get injured um, and to you know do irreversible damage to your kidneys and your liver and things like that so number one rule always consult your doctor before taking any type of you know advice regarding your health and so Hey guys, this is what I use when I am about to work out. It's a Gold's Gym um, abdominal wrap. Um, I usually put it on every time I go to the gym and I leave it on for the entire time. I sweat a lot with this. And I get it nice and tight around my lower abdomen especially because that's the part that I'm really trying to whittle down as far as uh, fat and uh, water weight um, and just put it under my clothes just like that and go about my workout so when I come back I take it off I want to warn you there's a lot of sweat and it may look kind of gross so I apologize but here you go see a lot of sweat yeah it looks kind of gross uh, but it does help this is me right now and um, I've lost another two pounds for the week. Um, I think I'm making progress. 210 is my final for the week. Hey friends, it's Jakar again here to talk about a subject that I know we all struggle with and that is water weight and holding on to extra water weight, especially when it's that time of the month. So don't have any miracle cures for it, but I do have a few things that might help. Um, first of all, water. 
drinking a lot of water. Now you don't want to become water toxic, so you gotta be careful about the amount and how much you're taking in all at once. But I like to typically stick to about a gallon a day, and that's throughout the whole day. That's not just all one, you know, one sitting of <laughs> drinking a gallon of, of water. So that helps kind of flush out things, the impurities, the salts, things like that, so that um, you're not holding on to extra uh, water. So um, to get a little technical, <laughs> scientific here, um, salt holds on, it draws water into the tissue, excuse me. Salt draws water into the tissue. So um, if you're eating a lot of salt in your diet or you have add the extra table salt um, that will draw water into your tissues it that's the way your body is meant to do it and um, so if you want to be a little less waterlogged and uh, try to lay off the salt a little bit I mean some things absolutely need a little salt on it I mean I personally love to put salt on my food but I have to minimize the amount and, and decide what which foods is worth it and which foods are, are not worth it so that's one thing and then um, oh, that's number two so first was water and then it was uh, minimizing salt the third thing is uh, tea now uh, green tea is great for um, boosting your energy and detoxifying and also uh, helps there's a diuretic in, in a way um, and it will help release some of those uh, some of that water that you're holding on to and I like to drink it about uh, two to three times a day um, I'm not always good about that I try to at least get one a day but um, two to three times a day is great and it helps with boost your metabolism too um, thirdly, I mean, sorry, fourthly, <laughs> can't count here, uh, is uh, lemon. Uh, lemon is also another natural diuretic. It will um, flush out um, water. Uh, it's also very good as a, as a um, astringent for your face, like if you, you need to, you know, clarify your skin and things like that. It's awesome. You know, it's, it's wonders to what nature has already provided us and we just need to tap into that and so I say you know drink your water stay away from the salt and uh, you know grab a cup of tea